Yuan Shen ignored Sing Shen many times, implying that Sing Shen wanted to coax himself, but Sing Shen didn't receive it. Under Luo Sensen's guidance, Sing Shen learned that Yuan Shen was angry for the past two days and needed someone to coax him. Yuan Shen thinks that Sing Shen loves to say nothing but wants to break up. Sing Shen said that he had never wanted to break up, so Yuan Shen didn't want it either. Sing Shen explained that he was a little angry a while ago, but then he lost his anger, and he enjoyed the appearance of Yuan Shen saddle before and after the horse. After Yuan Shen and Sing Shen were considered of each other, they kissed shyly in the classroom. The teacher of the oil painting department called Yuan Shen to get the report materials in the office, but Yuan Shen did not look happy, but felt heavy. Sing Shen didn't want his own existence to influence Yuan Shen's choice, let Yuan Shen do what he really wanted to do, saying that he would unconditionally support any choice Yuan Shen made. Yuan Shen went back to the sculpture room and saw the classmates playing around, so he was even more reluctant to switch departments. Yuan Shen asked Sing Shen if she would miss her after she transferred. Sing Shen said he only focused on sculpture in class. Yi Ming anxiously brought bad news. The school will reform the sculpture department. Next semester, the sculpture department will be changed to the direction of sculpture art design. Even the sculpture classroom will be used by other colleges. Jiesa Kim first expressed his opinion and agreed with the school's considerations and felt that it would be easier to find a job after graduating from computer design. Professor Jin also reluctantly told the students that the school reform sculpture department focuses more on design and application, which is more in line with the trend of the times. The students opposed the reform, saying that they wanted to learn art not design. Sing Shen told Professor Jin aloud that the Department of Sculpture has its meaning. Jiesa Kim was again persuading everyone to give up resistance. Lu Jining and others accused Jiesa Kim of abducting his arms, and Sing Shen refused to admit defeat and said that he would find a way. Since that day, Sing Shen has always made secret calls with Yuan Shen behind his back, and has not answered Yuan Shen's calls. Yuan Shen looked resentful, suspecting Sing Shen was in the situation. Lu Jianning also counted on Yuan Shen to save the class, but Yuan Shen said that he couldn't manage his boyfriend well and had no intention of confronting the school. When Lu Jianning and Yuan Shen were eating in the cafeteria, Lu Jianning accidentally saw Sing Shen walking with the long-haired person from the back indicating that Yuan Shen's boyfriend was going to cheat. Yuan Shen also saw the backs of the two people and hurried to catch up, but didn't catch him because he hit the cart. Yuan Shen, who broke Sing Shen's derailment, was extremely sad. With the encouragement of his roommate, he asked Sing Shen who was with him today by text message. Sing Shen replied that he had been discussing things with the senior today. Yuan Shen and her roommates didn't believe Sing Shen's excuse, because they thought the person was clearly a girl because of the long hair. The roommates offered Yuan Shen to drive away Xiao San. Yuan Shen directly wanted to take out his 40 meter big knife. The next day, all the members of the 403 dormitory were dispatched to catch the traitor for Yuan Shen and secretly follow Sing Shen. Yuan Shen, Luo Sin Sin, and Lu Jianning hid in the grass, and, saw Sing Shen secretly meeting again with a woman and, directly exploded on the spot. But in fact the long-haired woman is Lin Shufen Sr., and, Sing Shen discussed how to keep the sculpture department. Sing Shen saw Yuan Shen in the bushes and, deliberately approached the senior. Yuan Shen was so angry that he directly grabbed the woman by the hair. Yuan Shen found out that the man was Senior Lin, and immediately apologized to Senior Lin. Yuan Shen obediently promised that he would no longer doubt Sing Shen or follow Sing Shen in the future. Sing Shen teased that Yuan Shen really cares about him, and Yuan Shen denies it bluntly. Yuan Shen was worried about Lin Zhu Chang's grudge. 
Ding Shen told Yuan Shen that Lin Zhu Chang hadn't eaten any food, so he went to the barber shop to cut his hair. Sing Shen wanted to take time off from his grandmother's house when something happened. Sing Shen made a video call to Yuan Shen and said that he was still on the high speed rail. Suddenly Sing Shen went blank. Shen Shen thought that Sing Shen's signal was not good, so he buckled his nose at the phone. As a result, Sing Shen came back again and told Yuan Shen that it was not that the signal was bad, but that he covered the camera to show his grandma the picture of his girlfriend. Yuan Shen was so angry that he wanted to jump off the building. He blamed Sing Shen for making her foolish twice a day and hung up the phone. On the second day, Professor Jin asked the students to study by themselves. G.S.A. King said that Professor Jin went to Zhuanzhou number no. 1 middle school to give lectures and did not come to the classroom. He just wanted to add in on the whole class. Lu Jining and Yuan Shen felt that Professor Jin must have difficulties and made the students believe in Professor Jin. Chen Kinan and Yi Ming talked about Sing Shen's family's opposition to Sing Shen's study of sculpture. Perhaps Sing Shen would really drop out of school during the sculpture reform. G.S.A. King overhears the conversation between the two of them. He turned the black and white end sat down to tell the whole class that Sing Shen had dropped out of school. Yuan Shen stood up and said that G.S.A. King was spreading rumors. Although G.S.A. King accepts the reform of sculpture, he actually loves sculpture art. As long as Yuan Shen thinks of a way, he must obey. Yuan Shen came to Zhuanzhou No. 1 Middle School to look for Professor Jin, only to know that Professor Jin was giving free sculpture art lectures to high schools in the city these days to recruit students. It turns out that as long as the sculpture department enrolls 60 students in the next semester, the school will not dissolve the sculpture department. So Professor Jin desperately went to major universities to recruit students. Yuan Shen also ran into an extraordinary senior, who told Yuan Shen that Sing Shen also knew about Professor Jin's lecture. Yuan Shen explained in the class that Professor Jin gave the lecture to preserve the sculpture, and called on the students to help Professor Jin and the sculpture department together, and have a meeting in the sculpture room tomorrow. Yuan Shen thought that someone would not come, but the whole class was there, and even Sing Shen had returned from her grand mother's house. The whole class expressed their opinions and solved the problem. Sing Shen suggested participating in the National Urban Sculpture Exhibition competition to expand the influence of the sculpture department of Zhuanzhou University. Yuan Shen also agrees very much and wants to use the city sculpture exhibition competition champion to build a reputation for the sculpture department. Other students also agreed. Professor Jin silently supports the students and wants to bring the whole class to the museum to experience the urban culture. Yuan Shen is still angry at Sing Shen's loss of contact these days. Sing Shen surrounds the angry Yuan Shen on the stairs, but facing Yuan Shen's questioning, he can't explain for a while.